Curtis Littlejohn, Swine Products Manager with Canar Mag Systems. And we're here at the World Pork Expo in Des Moines. And I'm going to talk to you for a couple of minutes about the value of data integration and integrated products like we've provided here to the producers. We've partnered with PigChamp, the world's largest provider of swine management software, and CanArm, the best built sow feeder on the market. We had just had a producer call and he wanted to know if he would be able to access data on the fly that would control both his machine and PigChamp data so he can look at how a sow is doing. So what we're going to do, I've logged in here to the system on my smartphone and as you can see we've brought up the screen on the computer in the barn. Now we're going to switch over to a larger screen here, but we're going to show you how the value of data integration can work for you. So here we've moved over to our uh, monitor at the, at the World Pork Expo and I've logged in uh, from Des Moines, I've logged into the farm up in southern Ontario. This is a 2000 sow barn and what you're looking at right here on the screen now is a feeder that's actually working. The producer is called and he wants to be able to adjust the feed on a specific sow in the barn to ensure that that sow is getting what she needs and be ready to farrow in good condition. So we just go over and we click on the pig champ screen and we brought up the daily feed calculator. As you see in your pig champ menu, it's under sow choice systems, daily feed calculations, and this screen is being done in real time. So this is where the value of data integration begins to come into play. In real time, this indicator light here will change from a light gray to a light green to a dark green, indicating that the sow has fed or consumed all of her feed for today. So let's take a look here at sow 1382 and determine if she has eaten all of her feed today, when she did it, and if she needs to be bumped up. So the value of data integration starts to become apparent. We're watching the sow get fed in real time, and I want to know what this sow's been like. So I can go to her sow history, and I can bring up all of the information around this girl, uh, right down to her fairings, her matings, and all of those other issues. Um, when you do that, and then we can go to lifetime performance. We can look at that what this girl has done, her average gestation length, uh, total live born, and it looks like this lady's a guilt. What we can do then is we go and we look and we make sure that she's visiting the sow choice stations. And we see that she's been in the station three times today, and she consumed her ration at 9.54 this morning in about nine minutes. And she was given 2.3 kilos of feed. The barn manager thinks this sow is a little thin and he wants to up her ration and give her a little bit more on the fly in real time. He can go to this screen, sow choice feed allocation, and he can look and see what she was described what she was prescribed for today. Now obviously, when we go back here and we look at her visits, she was in the barn today and she ate her allotted 2.3 kilos. So when we go to the feed allocation screen, it's already updated and it shows that she has no feed left for today. If we want to change that, we can do a manual override or we can recalculate. So if I were to plug in here that she can have another half a kilo and I hit save, it will change that and it will now program her back where she is showing that she's not gotten all of her feed for today and things need to be adjusted. This is the value of having feed and management integrated at one time. You can see that she's eaten, you can see that you can adjust it, you can adjust her intake for today instantly. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.